I've been through a lot of cameras, obviously. I'm gonna do a roundup of every single camera that I ever used since 2014. Enjoy. <laughs> This is my first camera, a GoPro Hero 4 that my mum bought for me. This is the camera that I took everywhere. And to turn it into a regular camera, these are all the accessories that I use. The more that I use this camera, the more that I realized that I needed to start using an actual camera if I was ever gonna make anything that I was actually remotely proud of. And then, like magic, my mother got a free camera when she bought a printer. Like that, I ended up with my very first DSLR. A Canon 550D. I used this camera, the 550D, all the way up until midway through 2019. This camera shot concerts, portraits, families. It shot YouTube videos and it shot my first short. This camera, the 550D, sparked my love for visual media. This is what started everything. I took it everywhere with me. When my parents went to go buy a new car, I stood outside the front of that car dealership taking portraits of the random strangers that walked by me on the street. That's how much I took this camera with me. Eventually, midway through 2019, I decided that it was time to upgrade. I needed more low light capability, I needed a better body, something that, that would last me a little bit longer than this camera had. Also, this camera is currently on loan to live. She's borrowing it for a little bit. It'll be back soon, and then it'll be permanently mounted here. So, from here, it was time to upgrade. From the 550D, I finally took the plunge and I upgraded to my first semi-professional DSLR, the 80D, which is currently filming this video. I used this camera for about a year and a half as my main body. I loved this camera. And I still use this camera every single day to shoot the vlog. I know it like the back of my hand, and I trust everything that comes out of this camera. About a year after I got the ADD, my photography career started getting more serious and I started looking at bigger and better bodies and I decided that it was time to take the plunge and order my first mirrorless camera. The Canon EOS R has been my workhorse for the past year and a half. I've used this camera for every photo shoot, every video shoot. It has been a B cam, an A cam, a C cam. It has been rigged out, it has been completely empty. I love the EOS R. There's the EOS R. It's currently shooting the top down. I would be shooting the vlog on this camera, on the EOS R, but I broke a microphone inside this camera and I will need to get it fixed at some point. Then I started doing more cinema stuff. That was becoming the consistent problem we had with every single camera, the 30 minute record limit. Well, we needed a cinema camera that bypassed that 30 minute record limit. The Blackmagic cinema camera, which we then rigged out with a cage, an SSD, and a speed booster. This camera served us very well, but the problem we had with this camera was it was way too light and got way too shaky, so the only time we ever really used it was when we had shots that we could completely lock off. But I still love this camera, I used it a lot, even though its battery life is absolutely abysmal. No battery life. And now, my latest and most recent purchase, it doesn't fit in the frame, the C100 Mark II. I bought this camera because this year I'm going to do a lot of documentary shoots and I needed something that was run and gun, easy to set up and easy to rig out. And that's all my cameras. I've used six different cameras over my non and professional career. That's a lot of cameras. In the early periods of my camera buying life, I definitely upgraded too quickly. Specifically, from the ADD to the EOS R, I upgraded far too quick. I should have waited about another year for that. But Everything else, I'm super, super happy with those purchases. I use them every single day, particularly the ADD is my little workhorse. That's it. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow.